Hello, I'm Silver Rumble from Ryan Nerds. Welcome to my view of Doctor Who Series 10 Episode 4, Knock Knock. Um, as I said, start with all my views, there may be some minor spoilers ahead. So if you're spoiled, turn off now. So Knock Knock takes, starts off with Bill, Doctor's companion Bill, um, going off with some of her student friends to try and find some student digs. And after being led around a variety of dives, this um, kindly old man, played by David Suchet, offers to give him a house to live in. And they get to the house, and it's a really, well, it's a lovely period property. Really ancient, they can't sort of believe their luck that they're going to rent here really cheaply. And so they move in, but there are strange creakings going on. I must admit, I, this is really basically Doctor Who's take on haunted houses. And always, 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 always been a bit of a naff subject for me. I always think they're generally quite blasé subject matter for films or TV shows so forth. This isn't the first we've done a Haunted House. We did a Haunted House episode where Matt um, Matt Smith was Doctor Who, but I'm trying to remember for life for me the name of the episode, but I've completely forgotten. It'll probably come to me once I get to the end of this review anyway. Um, that was a similar theme, creepy old house, what's going on? Ooh. And for this one, it's a completely different idea. It's, there's something actually in the house, not some Merlin entity that's in the house. I really liked it. I... It was sort of felt very off, very old Doctor Who sort of group of people trapped in a small space. They've got to figure out how to get out and how to escape. That's sort of the old Doctor Who I always like. Always like when you've got characters sort of in a confined, restricted space. It didn't happen quite a lot in the classic series, uh, mainly because of budget constraints. But they they were always my favourite episodes and so forth and the sort of crew. It's a bit of an old building. I, I do like sort of the creepiness of an old building. So I said the episode worked really well. Excellent. It was an, I thought the storyline is played, written by Mike Bartlett, who this is his first time he's written for Doctor Who, and I have to say, excellent performance, excellent show, really good story overall. Um, really enjoyed the cast of characters. Really enjoyed the way they played off each other. Really enjoyed the way that they bout their at their sort of talk, their banter, for to use the modern phrase, were felt very natural. The food bits we've seen, it felt really, really very natural and felt quite funny. It felt like a real actual group of people. And when I was doing, I could actually remember having similar conversations, well, off the cuff when I was doing it. felt It felt right, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, so yeah, very enjoyable episode. Um, I liked the resolution of it. I thought it, was, it wasn't, the ending was not what I was expecting. Um, the spit at the end was something that I was, was not in any way taken aback by and the twist at the end I also was not expecting I was thinking some other sort of alien influence was causing without spoiling the twist to what had happened but tell you it wasn't it was completely not what I was expecting so yeah the episode surprised me a little bit as well and I thought overall a very good episode um, so I've already mentioned that you cast the characters you got um, Bill there's normal excellent and her doctor is working well and well she does I do feel that she does occasionally take to use TV tropes for the idiot bore a few times particularly with the Doctor I mean it was quite clear the Doctor had triggered something was wrong with the building but she wasn't listening to him now you think after you know strange puddles and as she said in the outside of the college which saw duplicate people you know robots with smiles that, that dissolve eat people which happens quite I'm noticing the thing there's a lot of people being eaten in this series so far um and then you know strange giant creatures and the sea monsters she might sort of start to listen to the doctor a little bit um but she sort of like no just rejects it out of hand can't be happening i think if i was to kind of go right i really don't want something to be happening but you're saying something is i'm gonna to listen to you because you seem to know a bit more sensible but i think it seems to be a bit about companions they have to be like no no outside here it doesn't happen you know i've seen strange things already it doesn't happen so that always feels a little bit odd she did a similar moment last week where she said a couple of things that oh, I thought seemed a little bit silly thing to do and say, but I'll forgive him a little bit for that. Um, the other characters I mentioned, I haven't got a list of all the actors here, unfortunately, handy, so I can't reel them all off. But yeah, they thought I thought they, I say the dynamic between them, I thought worked very well. The way they bounced off quite well, I thought I actually quite I sort of got any of their personalities, and they all felt slightly believable personalities when I first saw him, so I quite like the other characters. But of course I got to mention David Chichette and his role within the episode as the landlord. And I thought he played brilliantly. Brilliant. I always find trouble watching him and other things, because whenever I watch him, I'm so used to him playing, I'm, I'm so used to always just, I just think to myself whenever I see him, Poirot, 
And I just wanted to go with a little Belgian accent saying, ah, the little grey cell. I just wait for that at any moment, but it always makes me feel weird when I see him not doing that. So that was a bit out of case, but overall, yeah, I think the guys in it and the little tight cast worked very well and really enjoyed, really good acting all around, I believe, personally. Subduction, as I said, Mike Bart's first episode, really good um, starting episode. I can't farm, really. I hope he writes for Little Dot 2 again. Um, special effects wise, I have to say, were pretty darn good. Um, the little creatures that are in it looked really good, looked really well, looked very effective. Reminded me a little bit of the DRDs from Farscape, but I know very vaguely, but that was very vaguely what they did. Um, the actual special effects of the building itself, without getting too much away, looked worked very well. And it's, I think, again, it's a case of not too much CGI. Um, it was used just in the right places. It was very effective. Um, and by keeping it sort of reasonably low-key, it makes it more effective. There's a lot more practical effects going on with the sort of the house movement, the doors closing off of it. It worked a lot more practically, and it worked really well. Now I said there was quite a lot of CGI, now I sort of think about it, but it was done just right it was just the right amount to make it work which worked really well for the episode so i can't really fault production i thought it was really well done um i said the pacing was good the writing i thought was excellent special effects were really good um even the the big bit at the end i was a bit concerned but that was felt really natural felt really nice and the, the, the special big special effect at the end looked really good Again, without spoiling anything. So, really can't fault production the episode at all. I thought it was very, very good. So, overall, I really enjoyed Knock Knock. Um, I thought it was a great first episode for the writer. Um, this series so far has been really good. Uh, every episode I've watched, I've enjoyed. Um, I like the dynamic performing between Bill and the Doctor. And obviously, we're going to find out more and more what's going to happen in the vaults, what's inside it, um, what speculation is there. I think everybody's going to assume it's the master inside. As a couple have said already, my father doesn't watch Doctor Who assumes it's the master inside. But I personally find that hard to believe because he's been in the trailers. Unless Moffat's doing like a double bluff on us, I can't believe he put him in the trailers uh, without... And then have him absorb the big twist of the series. It just seems very anti-Moffat to me. So I can't believe it's him inside. It's going to be something else. Um, so yeah, overall... I'm looking forward to what's going to happen. I hope we get to see a bit next week when we go to this space station. I hope soon we're going to see a bit more of Nardu. I do like Matt Lucas's character in it. It's just been so brief in most of the episodes. I'm assuming because probably a pay issue, I'm assuming. I might be wrong, but we get to see a bit more of him next episode um, as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing him there as well. So, But yeah, so far, series has been excellent. So thank you very much for watching. I've done something around. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have, please subscribe to the channel. Um, hopefully this week we should be having with my one of my colleagues from our podcast, uh, Middle Meister, if you've watched the podcasts. Um, he will be hopefully joining me and we're going to do a spoiler, spoiler fest Doctor Who cast. We're going to talk about all the episodes and we're going to be completely spoiler. So we're going to just discuss between us and bounce between us what we think is going on, what's happening. That will hopefully be up by the end of the week. Um, we're not, we haven't recorded it obviously um, so I hope you come to watch that and join us on that but yeah so thank you for watching um, if you've liked this please subscribe you can watch our go to our website as well we do reviews we do all sorts basically on here uh, we do let's plays so thank you for watching um, well I've been the Suffolk Brown I look forward to seeing you on next week's episode um, sorry next week's review of the episode so until then see you later <laughs>